Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Behind the Cage, your weekly preview for the Maryville Saints hockey team. I'm Andrew Marsh. That's Sean Malone. And we are here to discuss this past weekend and preview this week's upcoming game against the McKendry Bearcats. Sean, let's start with last weekend. The Saints get a sweep of Illinois. Two wins this weekend, two huge wins, a 4-3 victory on Friday and a 5-4 overtime win on Saturday. And again, kind of like what we were talking about last week, Andrew, how we saw in the first two games of the year, Maryville can win different ways. They can win 10 to nothing where you beat up your opponent and you can win in that close game where the puck hasn't bounced your way, but sticking with the game plan and knowing that it will eventually come around for you. It did. And we kind of saw that again Friday, not the cleanest of games to start for Maryville, but they walk away with the four to three victory. And then in Saturday, an overtime winner for Maryville as well. Both of them against the Illini, not a a team that's any slouch. As we mentioned last week, Mm -hmm. this is an Illini team that they have some very talented, experienced players from their squad a couple of years ago that are back still this year. They only played two games last year, so it's also a very hungry Illini squad that they faced off against. But the Saints came away with a victory in Friday and Saturday's contest. I know it's early in the year, but you got to feel optimistic with those kinds of wins. It's kind of like that difference between good teams and great teams, a lot of times is the ability to win those games that you should not be winning. And I feel like we kind of saw that over the weekend. So again, it's four games into the year. It's early, but this has to be a really optimistic sign for the Maryville Saints moving through the rest of the season. Absolutely. And the way they won, they came back in all of these games. Illinois would score and they would respond. So like you said, great teams find ways to win. And you look at these last two games, both the games – You could say Illinois outplayed Maryville, but Maryville did what they had to do in order to secure those two victories and start the season off 4-0. So looking towards this upcoming week, the week that we're in right now, the week that we're previewing against the McKendry Bearcats, I have a lot of confidence in this Maryville team that they'll start their season off 5-0, even though they are starting their first road trip. First road trip to McKendry, and interesting that it's a midweek road trip as well, a Wednesday game. So you're going to have to be going from class earlier in the day. Maybe you got a quiz or a test or something like that, but still maintaining your focus for the game coming up in that evening as well. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle not just their first road trip, but their first midweek game as well. So it'll be really interesting for Maryville University in that game. I think it'll be a lot of fun, though. McKendry is always a fun team for Maryville to play against. Absolutely. They're a rival team, too. So I'm sure it's going to be physical. And like you said, a midday or midweek game, that is. And it's the season opener for, season opener for McKendry. You know they're going to be excited. They're going to have fans back in the stands. They're playing in their big rink now. Last year, they just played in their practice rink. There was no use for the big rink because fans were not allowed. But they have a good barn full of, of energized students. And it's going to be just like what we saw this past week and uh, the week beforehand against Alabama with all the students at the Maryville University Hockey Center. So the Saints will have some adversity going into that matchup. But if we look back to last year, the Saints, they did a really good job against McKendry. They went four and two and ended up winning their conference. And if you just look at the past couple of seasons, McKendry has had the best of the Maryville Saints, but it looks like the tides are turning. I'm glad you mentioned the crowd because we talked two weeks ago heading into that Alabama weekend series about it's the first time in a long time Maryville's played in front of a crowd. Well, now this will be the first time in a long time that they're playing in front of a crowd that's not cheering for them Mm -hmm. and it's cheering for the opposition instead. We saw the impact that it had in Friday night's game against Alabama, 10 to nothing victory. You get into it. The crowd gets into it. You get a couple goals. You start feeling really good, start feeling better once the crowd gets going to It'll be interesting to see how Maryville responds to a crowd that's not necessarily in their corner of the ice throughout the evening. Exactly. So in order for the Saints to win, they got to do some things on the ice. I know we can talk about it all the, you know, all the live long day here on the on the behind the cage weekly preview show. But what are some things that the Saints need to do on Wednesday in order to come out with the victory? I think come out early with the physicality. We've seen that through Maryville through the first four games of the season so far. They're not afraid to play physical. You still don't want to get in trouble and cross that line. And now all of a sudden you're on, you know, you're on the penalty kill. 
But I still think, especially a rivalry game midweek, you know, McIndry is going to be dealing with classes and what have you during the daytime as well. Um, I think coming out hot and especially coming out physical is going to be a key for uh, the contest this weekend. Yeah, I, I agree that the physicality this past weekend, it, it amplified from what we saw two weeks ago. And I can only imagine with this being a rivalry game, a conference game, that the physicality is going to be there, especially with the home crowd of McKendry. They're going to play into that. So the Saints need to play with a little bit of swagger when they're there. They need to come in and say, hey, we are 4-0 and we beat you four times last year and we're going to we're going to bring it to you this week. So I think they need to go in, play with some swagger and and just have fun, to be honest. But in order to win, they have to play defense. We know they can score goals, but I think defense is the key as well to the Saints being successful on Wednesday. Yeah, and I'll, I'll spin that into our uh, players that we need to watch for this upcoming matchup. I'm going to go with the Twin Towers, White and Hunter. I talked about the physical play. You talked about defense first. I think that's a perfect combination with uh, the, both of them, frontline defensemen, two tall players. You know you've got a tall defensive line when the short one is your six foot three <laughs> defenseman. So I'm looking for them to really set the tone early on against McKendry. And like I said, bring the physicality. Like you said, bring the defense. Yeah, the defense is going to be a key role in Wednesday's game. We saw Cole Bonnet kind of get shaken up this past weekend. Timon Prexler was kicked out of the game. So we don't really know their status as of right now. Of course, you can stay up to date with all Maryville Saints information uh, at the MU Hockey Network. That's MSHN team. And then, of course, follow the team at Maryville Saints. But like I said, the defense, we don't really know what that's going to look like. So the guys that you mentioned, Hunter and White, they're going to play huge, huge roles in Wednesday's game. I'm going to go with the forward side today, and I'm going to say Christian Alvagran. He scored the game-winning goal on Saturday, and when you get that guy going, it's hard to stop him. We've seen him put up multi-point goal, multi, oh my God, multi-goal games last season. He is a fantastic player, plays with a lot of speed. So when you get him going, he's unstoppable. And it seemed like the Saints got him going last Saturday. So I'd love to see him keep it up. And that goes, you know, you mentioned the speed. He's got speed and swagger, I feel like, go hand in hand in hockey. It's always the fast guy that's uh, mm. got a little bit of extra swagger to him. Absolutely. So that will pretty much do it for this week of Behind the Cage. Like I said earlier, if you want to follow the MSHN team, you can at MU Hockey Network. And if you want to follow us on YouTube, go to Maryville Hockey, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff, and you can watch the games if you're not at the Maryville University Hockey Center. And if you're on Twitter and you want to follow the team as well and see what they have going on on their page, follow them at Maryville Saints. So I'm Andrew Marsh. That's Sean Malone. And we want to thank all of you for tuning into this week's Behind the Cage, your weekly preview for the D1 Dogs.